folks, can these cheap $20, $30 ukuleles be any good? There's tons of them on the market. There's tons of them on Amazon. There's tons of them on eBay. Can they be any good at this price range? Well, to illustrate my point uh, today, um, this is a, a first note ukulele, a little soprano, uh, FN50, made in China. Um, first note, not to be confused with first act. It's a different company, I believe. Quality musical instruments, trophy music company, Cleveland, Ohio, made in China. So it's a, it was or is a um, uh, Cleveland, Ohio brand or that region. And um, this is probably $59 list price, I think is the last time I checked. But you can pick them up for 40, 45, or things like this, on, or sometimes even 30, 35 on um, Amazon or eBay or any of the online sites. This is, uh, I tried to find some specs on this and couldn't really find anything. A lot of times when you get really cheap ukuleles, they just don't bother telling you what they're made of. So this one here, I imagine is basswood. I imagine it's basswood. Uh, it's a sort of a light wood, a white wood of sorts that's uh, stained with this sort of gold brown color. At first I thought it could be Sapelli, but I don't think it is. I think it's probably basswood. Uh, and the fretboard looks like walnut or sandalwood or, or something of that ilk. It's a real wood board and it feels good. Um, and this one actually isn't bad. It's not bad at all. It's got uh, machine pegs that hold. You can see the open gear tuners on there with the big fat perloid ca caps that a lot of these cheap dukes have. Uh, it's one of these um, feed bridges. There's no pins or anything. It's just a tie bar. Uh, very simple. Uh, double white purfled ring there around the sound hole and that's it. There's no binding, there's no anything on this guitar, no markings at all, not even a logo on the top. So they probably had these made for Trophy Music Company and they just slap labels in them. I'm pretty sure this wasn't made by the company First Note or at least that's my best guess. Um, probably the Number one problem with these cheap, cheap ukuleles, and I've, I've come across a number of them, usually on trades and things like that. I don't actively buy them, but they come to me through different uh, ways. Um, the strings on this are pretty cheap. They're not even as good as the Aquila strings that come on a lot of ukuleles, so that could be upgraded right away. And also, whenever I get these cheap ukes, uh, a lot of times, um, the wood selection is really, really cheap. They have these sort of brass looking um, frets on them. A lot of times which can be very sharp and very uneven. This one happens to be pretty good. I don't feel any sharp fret ends because I think I set this up a couple of years ago. Um, it's now come back to me on a trade and I'll find a kid who, who uh, wants to play this. Uh, but anyway, I don't go out and buy stuff like this because uh, I, I start at a higher level uh, of ukuleles. I don't like quite going this cheap. But as far as cheap $20, $30, $40 ukuleles go, this one's not bad at all. It's probably one of the better ones compared to some of the ones I've seen. The joinery is okay. There's no nothing coming apart. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a walnut fretboard. Uh, which is fine. I've seen even plastic on some of these uh, ukes this price. Uh, it is real wood, although it's very non-distinct um, sort of white, probably a basswood or something similar. Um, you know, it's got the seam on the sides, so there's two pieces on the sides, or seam on the bottom, I should say. Uh, it's a standard um, neck join, nothing fancy there. And they drill the holes and put in these, um, they buy these bulk probably and put in these tuners. And it's, uh, yeah, it's a plastic nut. And there is no plastic saddle. It's a wood saddle inside in there. So uh, the parts are pretty cheap, but it's not terribly made. And if somebody wanted to take this and invest in it, a few dollars, you could upgrade the nut and saddle um, 
and strings and make this a better ukulele. I think I actually think that the tuners are fine enough. Um, first thing I would do is change the strings on this. Um, and then this one didn't come with a gig bag originally, so I found this cheap stag bag. It's just basically a vinyl cover, you know, to go with this soprano uke, so I can give it to somebody with some sort of cover. But anyway, the answer to the original question, can these be any good, is depends. Uh, sometimes they're not too bad if you're willing to do a little uh, part replacement or upgrading on them. Uh, sometimes they're abysmal. They're awful. I've had uh, ukuleles that look just like this that are warped and don't play and aren't worth upgrading. So it really is a case-by-case -case thing. It's not even a brand-by-brand -brand thing because I think I've had first note ukuleles that aren't this good, that are warped. So, you know, at this price level, it really is a case-by-case -case thing. Um, if you buy them, you look them over, you make sure nothing's coming apart, you make sure nothing's cracked, you make sure nothing's too warped because, of course, these don't have any truss rod of any sort. Um, and then you make sure that uh, you can live with the parts or replace them. And it really is a case-by-case -case thing. I've had a lot of these. I got a, a stack of uh, Soprano Ukes like this a while back, and they were so bad, um, I did the best setup I could to make them play, and I gave them all away. I just literally gave them away uh, to people because I didn't feel right selling them. Now this one, I think you could get 30 bucks for, 25, 30 dollars for, uh, because it's pretty decent. Um, I'm pretty sure I rounded these frets off a couple of years ago because the person got it from me originally. Um, so yeah, I think I don't think they come new like this. They're pretty rough when they come uh, to you. So nothing spectacular, not really great to look at, but at least it's a wood uke. It's not warped, it plays. Um, the parts are okay. Uh, I would say the biggest issue is uh, the, the really poor strings on it that could be upgraded and then if you wanted to get into nut and saddle upgrade uh tuner upgrade things like that i don't see why you would because you could just buy a, a soprano uke for 10 20 dollars more that has better parts on it so uh, but anyway um yeah it really is a case by case thing this first note f n 50 actually is a player and will service someone not a serious player but a kid a beginner um, maybe an older person who wants to get into ukulele, this will work just fine uh, for them and will be very serviceable until they get to a certain level and then they'll want to move on and go to the, the next level of quality. But uh, this ain't bad, uh, but it doesn't always work out this way in this price range of ukuleles. There are a lot of dogs um, and I shouldn't malign my furry friends by using that phrase, but uh, I've come across a lot of terrible ukuleles in the, you know, 15, 20, 25, 35 uh, bins, if you like. Um, this one actually is reasonable and it plays uh, and it will suffice for someone to learn on. All right, folks. See you next time.